Well, certainly for the Conservative Party, this is a major political issue. Unfortunately, it's not a particularly big issue for Canadians, and it's not a very important economic issue either. Uh, Canadians should know that despite the fact that we're running small deficits over the next couple of years, our debt burden is actually going down because our economy is growing at a slightly faster rate. And so I think as we look forward, we don't really have a deficit problem. What we have is a growth problem. Now, the way you encourage growth is, is fairly clear. First of all, you don't cut programs, you don't cut government spending. This will reduce growth, it'll increase unemployment. What we need to do is focus on activities that employ Canadians, that have what you'd call high multiplier impact. These are programs like infrastructure projects, uh, increased spending on services like health care, for instance. And what happens is when you employ Canadians, first of all, the unemployment rate goes down but also government revenues get some of that money back uh, through the tax system. And so this is how you create jobs. Uh, when it comes to less effective ways of creating jobs, uh, tax cuts is really lowest on that list in terms of multipliers. There's some economic impact there, but it's not nearly as strong as infrastructure spending or services spending. We could also have increased transfers to poor households, uh, poor seniors, for instance, or, or families with children. Uh, and in either one of those cases, there's, there's a better impact than tax cuts, but it's still not quite as good as creating jobs through infrastructure and service spending. Well, it's interesting that when we're talking about austerity, we're only ever talking about cutting services, which is one side of the equation, to be sure. What we're not doing is cutting, talking about the other side of the equation, which is revenues. Uh, and there's a variety of ways that we could increase revenues in a way that's fair and that I think Canadians would think is fair. Uh, one of the big ones, I think, is starting to close tax loopholes for high-income individuals as well as corporations. I'd be particularly concerned this year about tax havens where corporations, particularly big corporations, uh, they think that it's, uh, it's, it's possible to avoid corporate taxation. I don't think corporate taxes should be optional here in Canada. So I think those are two areas, uh, as well as looking at the general corporate income tax rate, which is one of the lowest effective rates in the world. I think there's room to move on that in ways that could increase uh, revenues, but not at the same time dramatically decrease economic growth. <laughs>